this. Okay. I thought I would do something different. I'm, a, I'm calling this a blast from the past. Mask and tape and shoe polish. Do any of y'all remember doing this craft with your grandma or something? So I am just have a, a scrap piece of paper to put down here because <clears throat> we might get messy. I don't know. Um, and I'm guessing I'm just going to ink around the edges so I can see this white on white. I know. Let me <coughs> ink a couple of these up. Oh, yep. So we took the back off of the chimney thing and this stupid bird's still in there. So I guess we're going <clears> to <throat> have to leave it off all night and hopefully that crazy bird will leave and hopefully the cats don't jump up in there and get them and oh, all that stuff. All right. So I'm just using five by eight index cards. <coughs> you know, if you we can, you know, do tags or whatever, but I know I got Mia here all over here. All you do is start, well, get rid of that first piece because it's got junk on there. Now, I don't know. I guess it's going to be sticky enough. We're just going <clears> to, <throat> just going to put it on here. I'm going to go this way. We're going to do one with skinny. <clears throat> I got the big, I got some, whoops, some big mask and tape too. Well, that, I know. Do y'all remember doing this with your grandmas or, or anybody? We used to do it on bottles. We would um, cover our bottles with mask and tape. And then you go back over it with um, shoe polish. <coughs> to get the design. And it, well, it used to look, you know, I was little. But it used to look like, like leather. So, <coughs> we're going to see if we can make make that get that look I don't know like I said my memory could not be serving me well either <laughs> that's a, a huge possibility Go ahead and trim that. Let's do a little piece here. And I really do think we did smaller pieces. <laughs> now, you know, now that it's coming back to me. But we are just going to do this and see, see what we get. <clears throat> You know, I don't know why we made these other than to just occupy my time, you know, with my grandma. Because, I mean, now I do remember her putting like some, I'd go collect some black eye Susans and stuff like that. <clears throat> when we'd go for our walks and stuff and she would put flowers in there. But other than that, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what she did with them. Like I said, I guess it was just something to make my time go by when I'm 
you know, over there. But she always, we always made something. Uh, I mean, like I said, if we were painting ceramics or, I don't know. She just always was making stuff. <clears throat> I know, I'm changing direction. I'm going this way this time. Oh, I can't wait to see what it looks like, you know, <clears throat> if it turns out as cute as it was when I was little or if I just, you know, not remembering well. Well, I'm telling you, I didn't get that tape on there straight, <clears throat> but oh well, we'll have to trim it down. Oops. Yep, I just rolled. <laughs> and then I guess I'm just going to go ahead and see if I can't tear this and just put a little on top. <clears throat> Since I didn't put it on very straight. Just go ahead and trim what I see hanging over. I know I'm picking the tape off my scissors. Sorry. I know it's not important. <laughs> All right. <coughs> Let me go ahead and just squish this down. See how much of a mess we can make. It, it claims you just, I haven't used this yet. You know, it's not like the old stuff. It just says directions. <laughs> keep it, keep applicator soft, rinse with warm water, blot after use. So, oh, okay. Oh, it is what I remember. It is a putty cat. It is a putty cat. Now, I know there's a, you know, a lot of people, I've seen people use this around their, um, journal cards and stuff instead of, let me get a napkin because I'm going to get it all over me, instead of distress ink and stuff. Who's that lady? Oh my gosh, she's doesn't have anything but that's where I it's, it's an old video but she used this and I think I'm going to make a journal and use nothing but shoe polish and see how it comes out all right now I think I don't remember but I'm gonna well obviously I need another paper towel hold on let me get another one <clears throat> I should have had all my stuff over here, but I can't remember if we, I just got wiping some back coming back to my, to my brain and maybe you don't need to wipe so vigorously, <laughs> but it, like I say, everything I do is rough. So I think I would probably leave it on here. Oops. See, I'm going to need some glue because I got a little crazy there. Scrubbing. Right. Now 
we're going to set that aside and let it for sure dry so I don't get shoe po oops so I don't get shoe polish over me but I can tell right here I can see my white paper I needed to ink around that a little better all right I wonder how that sponge it is much firmer holds up to inking I know we're gonna have to give it a try but you know that is kind of pretty do y'all remember doing that all right so now let me set this somewhere where I can't get it on anything and then we're gonna take one oops just need to make sure that's dry enough because I might be getting some on my um let's just go around here and see Yeah, I would have to say if you're going to ink around your stuff with these newfangled um, sponges, you might just have to pour some, you know, do it on in a palette or a plate and just kind of daub it that way. But um, yeah, I think I like that better than that mahogany. That dark mahogany, which I can, it, mine is never brown. It's always pinky, and I, I don't, don't like it. Okay, so now let's get our our fat tape out. Oh, let me find my end. You know, I wonder if you had washi tape that you're not exactly a fan of, if that would go over it. <clears throat> You know what I mean? You know what I mean, Vern? I'm sorry, I couldn't resist that one. Burn, 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 burn. Oops. Well, I don't know. That might look pretty when we go back and ink on it and just <clears throat> pick up some paper. Well, now I'm going off of the paper. Before I couldn't get it on the line. Now I'm off the line. Oops. Well, that was... We'll save that for the next one. <laughs> that was just a little too short. Oh, well, now that's the same stinking size. Oh, well. <coughs> I think this would make a pretty journal cover also. I know that one's too, too long for there. And I would say putting some crinkles in there would be would be pretty too. Let's see if we can put some crinkles in here. Oh, but then you can't. Uh, that might be okay for your journal cover, but not. Oh, well, I guess that tape's sticking because if you're gonna embellish this, you don't want to have too many lumpy bumpies on there. So maybe, 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 maybe not. Too rough for your base. Off the 
sides. And my overhang on top. Whoops. I didn't even get that tape. That's because I didn't peel it off of my scissors and it didn't cut right. <clears throat> All right, let's get our ink on. I'm bound and determined to get it on me. I think just daubing this on a little bit too would be, oh yeah, it's kind of pretty. Now I noticed this masking tape doesn't, has an extra layer of something on there. Ooh. That's pretty. If I say so myself. Can you see that one? Alright, let's put it back here to... And it doesn't smell bad either, you know. <laughs> yes. You know I had to smell it. Hi, huh, Amy. <laughs> Actually smells... Kind of smells like um, <laughs> a faint Lysol. <laughs> okay, enough sniffing um, that. All right, let's do this one <clears throat> and alternate sizes of tape. Well, that didn't, I didn't tear that one very well. I know, does it really matter because I'm going to be cutting it off with my scissors? Okay, let's see what we get if we alternate. What kind of look? I'm just going to, like, be total random on here. Whoops. Well, this is Duck brand, the skinny stuff, and the big one is uh, 3M. You know, I really didn't think there, there was that big of a difference in masking tape, but, uh, yeah, there is. You know, if you wanted your um, your lines and tapes to be straighter, then you might t take a little more time <laughs> to make it straight. Says the woman who has all these anal problems, I sure don't have any problems doing this. Oh my gosh. get these kind of oops <clears throat> this would be interesting putting the shoe polish on here and see what it does having an issue up there. I made him jambalaya because I thought, you know, it would be kind of 
soupy-ish, but the rice sucked up all the juice, and, and then it made it, you know, kind of thick, and I've got to, seriously, if y'all know Vinny, they call it, he needs to have a soft diet. And they did tell us that this is going to get worse and that he'll have to go from soft to puddingish type stuff to liquids eventually. And so, yeah, that was a little, you know, not so good news. And you hate hearing that because you was hoping that with everything else that he would just have this problem. But no, you know. Oh. And then, you know, he had to go to another doctor. I mean, like, I'm telling you, this spe these specialists are killing us. I mean, it's $45 a stinking pot. We are on number 11 for the month of February. Plus, our, you know, all your co-pays and stuff for all the procedures that they do. And just, oh my God. But anyway, we are hemorrhaging. <sighs> but, um, now they want to refer him to a plastic surgeon to see if they could put a piece of plastic in his throat to um, try to help with his vocal cord because apparently now his vocal cord, the left side, you know, which was paralyzed, is now buckling. It, it's like slipping in there. It's not staying firm, which is causing more some more problems. I don't know why I'm whispering. He's not down here. Oh, gosh. Um, but, I don't know. You know, I wish people would tell you this up front so you kind of know what to expect. That's been my whole gripe this whole time is let me know what to expect down the road. Don't tell me now when it's like, oh, crap, you know, too late, but this is what you're dealing with because I just... I don't do well with this kind of news and crap. I want to have, I would have liked to have known this a year ago. And a lot too, I think John needed to know this a year ago so he could have maybe enjoyed eating more or doing, if that makes any sense. But I just, I, I, I feel sorry for him. I feel bad for him. And like I said, I just, I don't know. So we're not going to talk about it anymore until we get the rest of these results back because apparently, you know, when they did the PET scan, they found something that's growing on the left side. They think. They don't know because they didn't pull the last one from a year ago to compare it to. Because, see, I have been, y'all know, I have been begging, pleading, Everything since last year, since last August, September, October, for them to do another PET scan. Just because I just have always, I don't believe in those stupid CT scans. I, you know, anyway. So, of course, now that they finally did one, there's questions. And then we find out that they've never done the CT scans in his neck for over a year. Because the one that they did a year ago was clear. Well, people, it's cancer. It's where it started, and God forbid, I, I, I don't understand. Why don't you just take a picture of it up there? It's not like, I mean, hello, what is it, a couple more hundred dollars for us to pay? But, so, now, we're, our, the oncologist is waiting on the radiologist who did it to come back, because apparently he's on vacation. So now, we're waiting for him to come back to compare the um, the PET scan a year ago to the PET scan that he just did two weeks ago. Well, we'll be going on two weeks soon. But anyway, um, to see if there really is something else up there that's growing, which, I'm sorry, there shouldn't be nothing there. I mean, they radioacted him. 40 times and chemotherapied him for three months and then took a break and then another three months when he did chemo for a whole year and 40 radiology ready whatever they do to you I get I don't know I don't even know the word now but he got radiation that's what it is 
radiation 40 times, you know, straight except on sun Saturdays and Sundays. <sighs> but anyway, but yeah. So, once again, <laughs> need I say how disappointed and pissed off I, I was and then how pissed off I was today when I called because his oncologist nurse didn't even bother to call me back. I called Friday to um, check to see, you know, what was going on. Didn't even bother to call me back. So I called this morning and I'm like, you know, I, I called Friday. Um, that's kind of interesting. Looks like wood, driftwood. And uh, so then they had me speak to the, the trial nurse who doesn't know squat. I mean, anyway, she's just whatever. She might as well just call her a CNA. But, um, so, you know, she comes back and repeats to me exactly what she was told to tell me. Because people don't want to talk to me. Well, I'm sorry. I'm here for my husband who doesn't ask any questions. And, um, I expect you to talk to me. Isn't that pretty? So let me put this over here to dry. And then I guess we'll do one just kind of funky. <sighs> So yeah, you know, that stupid girl comes back and, you know, rattles off, you could tell, because I was trying to ask her a question. Well, she didn't even want to break her train of thought because she wasn't going to remember what she was told because, you know, my biggest thing is like, so what, we're waiting on this this guy? He's not even in town? Well, we don't know. We don't know when he's going to be back. Well, isn't anybody checking? Well, I don't know. Why not? Kind of important. And I said, well, can you tell me, have y'all even got the PET scan, the last PET scan to him? She's like, oh, I don't know. Um, usually they order. I said, well, can't you tell if you ordered it? She's like, well, no, I can't tell. I'm like, why not? Can't you tell in his file if, if the PET scan has been requested? Well, no, ma'am, I can't. I'm like, well, that's dumb. I said, y'all need to get that damn PET scan and you need to get it down there to them. So whenever he does come back, he can read it and compare it. And she's like, well, you know, they wrote their findings on the thing. I said, yeah, but they wrote it in medical terms that us people, humans, cannot understand so you know we had to go research all of the stuff ourselves to find out what the heck they were even talking about and you know which really chaps my butt and um because i'm sorry patients should not have to go through this crap i think i like the torn edges um but anyway so yeah so we're waiting on everybody and their mother to come back from vacations, tea parties, or whatever in God's name they're doing besides taking care of their patients. Because, you know, cancer just, you know, cancer doesn't grow on the weekends. Um, uh, cancer likes to take vacations and everything else. Uh, no. Not only no. Hell no. So, but yeah, I, I, anyway, I am not a good person for this because I expect someone to give, to straight shoot me. I expect people to be honest. I expect people to give a crap and I expect people to do their jobs. I mean, why even do this if you don't give a shit and all you're doing is turning those people every day to make more money because you know oh, I, I see a hundred patients a day BAM that's exactly how I feel that's what I feel John has been treated like and I've told you that many a time and I don't appreciate it so anyway and then you know his swallow study thing you know we're waiting on that man to get back to us so, which he always takes four or five days to get back to you. And all the specialists are off on Fridays. No one's ever in on Fridays. So, you know, I'm hoping by... The end of this week, we'll have some real answers. Because I'm tired of the, the dog and pony show. I got that junk on me.
but I guarantee you if the shoe was on the other foot and it was their their family, their family member, or even them, God forbid them, oh, this crap wouldn't happen. You know, and I'm tired of being referred to yet another specialist. I mean, my God, people. There truly is only so much money to go around. And thank God, like I said, thank God he's working. Because I don't know what the hell we would do if he wasn't able to work, which I, that's coming. All right, so oh, two, let's do another up and down. why Molly is barking. They've just ate and just came in from outside. Oh my gosh. Maybe he didn't feed them. Maybe they went outside first. Because they're definitely doing their... You hear little girl? <coughs> She's in her spot by the island. She doesn't like anybody to be around her while she's waiting on her food. tell you her and Mia go around oh because Mia Mia likes to be on that side of the island also but oh yeah I'm, I'm telling you sometimes there's almost blood drawn they get crazy I'm like, I wonder what it would look like with some of that green painter tape. I wonder how this covers on that. Well, we might just have to try. Because I'm curious. Oops. Well, that was nowhere near straight. It's because I was thinking about that green painter's tape. <laughs> oh, I might just leave that there and let some shoe polish go. Alright, let's see if I can cut this off better. Oh, but what I was asking, if any of y'all know any good, what they call soft foods, you know, that's not hard to chew, but not you know, he's like, well, I don't want to eat soup all the time. Well, I don't know what the heck to cook for him. I just, I just don't know. I mean, because, you know, he's down to cutting everything up in, like, dice, like little pieces. And then I'm guessing the next step, if he wants to continue to eat meat, we're going to have to, like, puree it or something to put in there. I, I just, I don't know. <sighs> I guess I'll worry about that on Friday. Or next month, or I don't even know. My gosh. After we find out what the specialist says. Sorry, i got to put some lotion. My hands are, are dry. Or what this this new specialist that we got to go see, this plastic surgeon. Shoot, they need to throw me in some nice new boobs or something. Tummy tuck, I don't know. Shoot. To see what exactly they're talking about. And if the side's falling down, you know. If it continues to fall down, is this disc they're putting in there is it gonna like get stuck or i mean just i don't know you know i think all that crazy stuff john's like you're thinking too far ahead i'm like well you got to plan ahead because what you know it's it's not gonna stop it's gonna keep on so anyway that's my problem i'm a planner john's a day by day he's a man what can i say not many men like to plan they just do whatever 
I think that would be pretty if we left some big open spaces in there. But hmm, I wonder if I just put some plastic saran wrap stuff over this if it would keep the sponge moist enough so I don't have to wash it every time but then it doesn't come out unless you push that middle thing I don't know maybe I will clean it <laughs> maybe I'll follow the instructions do what it says but yeah I can see where just using shoe polish for around your stuff would be pretty because it is a pretty shade Alright, well, let me put this back there and let that dry. But that's pretty with the longer strips. That would be really pretty if it was all long, too. But, I mean, you could really play. Oops, I missed a spot. But you could really play with your tapes and get some really pretty designs in there. So let's just see. Oh, I don't even have one. Here, we'll we'll do this. I just got to try it with some of this green tape. See what it looks like. But then it's not a... It's painting tape. So maybe I'm going to have to put it down with some... Oh my gosh, I left that open the whole time. Why didn't somebody yell at me and tell you, Candace, your glue is open. Your glue is open. But yeah, like I said, this is painter's tape, so it doesn't have a stick because it's, you know, designed to come off. So you might, if you're going to do that, you're going to have to glue it down. But let's just see what we, what we get. And then we're going to put some, we're going to go crazy. We're going to go like that. We're going to go like that. Oops, I even got a bump. Oh, I got to I've got to put glue on here. I'm like it's not sticking. That's cuz there's it's no it's it's you know, removable tape. Yeah, don't me. big tape in here for popes and giggles. time I didn't turn my turn my starter back on put my timer back on because you know putting this down does take a little more time that's because you know I'm running my mouth as usual Green. Oh yeah, let's take a big piece. Since we got green up top, let's put green on the bottom. Because you know, I don't know what I'm going to do with these. I'm going to make tags out of them, fold them, put, make little mini notebooks out of them. I don't know yet. But, got to have a few little options. And then we'll run this one down.
told you it was going to get wild and crazy. <sighs> Y'all, a ladybug just flew in here. People, I am not ready for bug season. God. Okay. So let me smush this down good. And then let's see what we get with this brown and green. Dark green. <laughs> oh, I bet you this would look really pretty with some of that gilded wax around it, too. Golly, I wish I could remember what kind of cleaning, mopping stuff that smells like. That's going to be interesting after it dries. All right, so we're going to, let me show you this one. And then I'm going to set them aside. Ooh, I'm trying not to get it on my shirt. Let me set that aside. But that's different. All right. So, there you go. We played a blast from the past with some, whatever this is, masking tapes, painter's tape. Which, you know, we didn't use painter's tape. Ooh, I bet you the purple would look pretty with some brown in there. Because they got blue, purple, and this green painter tape. And then all these other ones, which it, it is taking a little, a little while for it to dry. I can still see it shine. But then that is, you know, when I went over it and did some, some, some dobbing. This is dry. The first one's dry. And uh, so, yeah, just like everything else, you got to give a little bit of time to dry. But... This one's dry. It's really nothing's coming off on my fingers either. So, yeah. I mean, you could, uh, yeah, you could do all kinds of stuff. Make flowers with this, and and then you know, cover it on top. I'm gonna have to go wash that off. All right, guys. Well, there you go. Using masking tape and shoe polish. A blast from the past. Well, at least a blast from my past. Oh, and I'm not even in frame. Well, I hope I hope everything else was. <laughs> oh, well, sorry. All right, guys. I know we made one, two, two other ones. But, like I said, they're over here drying. Well, this one's dry. It's a little curled up. So there's that one. I don't even know if you're seeing it. And then there's this one with the other daubs that turn up. Ooh, I bet you'd be pretty if you put a stencil over it and stenciled with, oh my gosh, we have a lot of stuff that we got to play with. So, all right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. Thanks for sharing some of your time with me. I hope um, that this brings back some memories if you did this when you were younger. And um, like I said, I really think this would be pretty. Um, putting a stencil on it, we'll have to try it. And, um, and then, you know, see how that goes. I'm, I'm looking around to see if I have one or just stamp it anyway. You know what I mean? All kinds of stuff. Oh, Lord, let me get one. I'm not going to be happy unless I do this. Let me see what I got. Oh, man. You know, I'm going to be washing the one thing, so might as well wash two things. So let me grab this Tim Holtz one that I got. I know, I don't know why I keep them in their plastic things. Most of the time I do. I need to put them on the, the hook, but then I would... Anyway, I just don't know. So let's let's do this. Let's put some... Let's put some splats on here and see what happens since... I don't know, I'm sure I'm, I've run over. I don't know. But I got to see what this looks like.
Maybe it's laundry detergent. <laughs> I don't know what it smells like, but it smells like something. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Okay, let's see what this looks like. Hmm. I, don't, I thought it was going to be a little more... Let me see if I can rub it in there, but then I'm not going to have my spats. But let's rub it in first, and then we might come back and, and do splats. Because see, it's going to take it off of the... Let's see, because it's all in here. Oh, well, that's that's not so bad. But I think if you rub it in and then go back over it and pat it on there, because it does look like it seeps underneath there a little more because it is wet. But that's um, kind of interesting. Let me... Oh, Lord. I don't know what the heck's going on up there. Sometimes when they... When they start showing their butt, John will sit down and, and won't feed them for a little while. And uh, because they make too much racket or if they get to a big old fight, oh my God. Let's just show, see what it looks like daubing. Oops, well, I daubed too hard and now I got some stuff that went underneath it. But, oh, yep, I kind of like that. Now, you will you will get dirty but it will wash right off okay so I'm done playing now I'm sure I'm hoping I didn't go over Ooh, let me put that up before I get it everywhere all right guys thanks for watching thanks for sharing I like I said if you haven't done this in a long 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 time do it give it a try and and have fun because there's so much things so many things that you can do with it and uh, get some stencils out try it too and like I said this only costs I don't know three dollars maybe and I think this will last for forever. And um, give it a try. I oh, know I got some sticking here. Give it a try with inking around some of your stuff and see how you like it as an as a alternative inker. Um, it, it's really pretty on the paper. And um, so I will see you on the next video. Thanks for all your love. Thanks for all your um, support. Thanks for your comments. Thanks for watching. Thanks for to the new subscribers. And thank you so much mwah, 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 for all my old subscribers. And lots of kisses, lots of love, and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye, guys.